Today there's a bewildering array of different varieties and it's prompted some heavy-handed marketing with scientists using terms like milk devils and smoking guns to describe certain varieties as a warning that they may not be as healthy as we're led to believe. Claire Brady has more. <laughs> If this was a beauty contest, well to me, all these girls look exactly the same. But there's a milk war, and this time it's not just about price, it's about quality. And when it comes to marketing, they're bringing it right down to the breed. These girls are A1 cows and pretty content about it. But there's a new player in the paddock called A2, and the herd and its produce is gathering momentum. It's on track to sell 24 million litres this year. It's more expensive than supermarket brands, but people are buying it regardless. A1 milk, the most common milk, has a protein fragment known as BCM7. A2 milk doesn't release this little protein fragment, but with competition afoot, A2 is unfurling health benefits and some say scary science to further lift sales. Many people will notice the difference and many people have noticed the difference and that's why they stick with A2. Naturally, A2 CEO Peter Nathan is pretty chuffed with its 400% growth rate in the past four years. But as this niche drop tries to carve up more of the normal milk market, its marketing is turning to European science to bolster its product. This is what's being claimed that a recent study in Poland has linked the mutation in A1 milk to sudden infant death syndrome, SIDS, and sleep apnea. Therefore, A2 is the safer alternative when it comes to breastfeeding mums and their babies. For more than 20 years, there have been strong suspicions that BCM7, the milk devil, is implicated in sudden infant death syndrome. Professor Keith Woodford is an expert on milk and supports the Polish study findings about A1 milk, babies and SIDS. This is the first time we've got evidence that uh, perhaps the mother also needs to be on milk that doesn't contain this particular little protein. Such a study and its fierce stirring results infuriates Jan Carey. There are a lot of crazy and bizarre um, theories that go around about SIDS. Jan is an infant nutritionist with the Australian Food and Grocery Council. Her little baby died of SIDS. This was a very poor study and poorly designed study and cause and effect weren't established. Dairy Australia represents both A1 and A2 farmers. It's still trying to be fair, perhaps sit on the fence to be safe but its nutrition manager, Dr Ethne Carr, can't ignore the facts. That study did not in fact look at A1 milk or milk. It actually looked at infant feeding, so there were infants fed both formula and breast milk. I don't think anybody wants to have a whole lot of scaremongering, but it would be good if parents were aware that it is a risk factor. It can be confusing to know what's best, but here's some news that you should find more palatable. New 